verifying trig identities, what we want to do is verify that the left side of this equal sign equals the right side of this equal sign. We want the left to equal the right. We want what we see on the left to be the same thing we see on the right. So we need to pick a side and change it using our you know, identities and reciprocals and things like that until it looks like the other side. Now the general rule here is that you want to make the more complicated side look like the less complicated side. So looking here, cotangent x plus 1 or cosecant times cosine plus sine, I think the right side is more complex. And so I'm going to work with that side. I'm going to keep the left side what it is and I'm going to change or try to change the right side with identities to make it look like cotangent x plus 1. And uh, there's a couple of ways you could go here, like cosecant x, I can um, you know, change that to uh, a reciprocal, but first I actually want to distribute that into the parentheses here. So I'm going to make this cosecant x uh, and cosine x plus uh, cosecant x sine x. Next, I am going to, again, I'm keeping the left side the same. I'm going to change uh, cosecant into 1 over sine. So that's 1 over sine times cosine over 1 plus cosecant's 1 over sine x times sine x over 1. And let's see what I can simplify here. Um, I really just cross out my ones here, and so I have cosine x over sine x when I multiply those two fractions together, plus. Here I can cross out my sines, and I have just plus 1. And then lastly, I remember that cosine x over sine x is cotangent x, and plus 1, and that is what I was trying to get the whole time, so the trig expression is verified.